The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. I went to East Carolina, so my math is not too good. But you've been gone 30 plus years from Carson Newman. Where does that time go? Got to remind me about that, man. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's, it's you know, uh, I got one, one son that's, that's coming out of high school this year. And uh, one going to high school, and the time just goes by so quick. It just seems like yesterday, you know, these guys were born. Now they're going on their way to college. So 30-some years ago, man, it's hard to believe. But I, it was an awesome time, and I enjoyed it. So why Carson Newman? Uh, uh, I'll tell you a quick story. And I don't know how accurate the story is, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> well, my math's not I'm accurate. Gonna, I'm going to tell you what I know. I have my defensive coordinator here with me tonight, Coach Jim Deaton. And so when I left high school out of Knoxville, Tennessee, two of my friends, we ended up signing with Johnson C. Smith over here in Charlotte. So my mom really didn't want me to go to the school. So uh, one day she called me and she was like, everything okay? I'm like, I'm not really enjoying this up here. And she was like, well, those coaches from Carson Newman called the other day. I said, well, I'll tell you what, mom, if they call back, you tell me, they still want to give me a scholarship, I'm coming. Five minutes later, my phone rang. <laughs> And she was like, Joey, you're not going to believe this. They just called. <laughs> and they still want you to come. So that's how I became Carson Newman. So if that phone doesn't ring, you're not part of three sack titles. What made you guys so good for three championships? I mean, we had a really, re lots and lots of talent. We had really, really good talent. Uh, but not only did we have talent, we had really, really good coaching. And uh, you can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't have somebody driving you, pushing you to be great, uh, that talent goes unnoticed. So we had, I, I would think the talent level was there, but we also had the coaches that pushed us to be great. All right, so beyond that, because what you really just described is on the field and in the training room. Beyond those things, what did you do to stay as sharp as you were come game time? Uh, well, Coach Steen will probably tell you, he, he, I heard him telling the story to somebody today. He said uh, Joe was the best player that I had, but he worked harder than everybody else. Uh, he led by example. So those are the things, the traits that I try to take from high school. And when I got to college, I try to implement those same things that I had learned throughout my career. And that's just how it worked out for me. Now, this number I do have right, 247 solo tackles. Dude, you had a nose for the ball, didn't you? I did have a nose for the football, but I was, I was telling my cousin earlier, he said, man, I didn't realize some of your stats. And I said, well, you know, you got to realize I missed four games. I missed four games when I tore my knee up my second year. So I said, that's probably another 40, 50 tackles. <laughs> so, so, but, 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 but I've always, I've always, was always taught, you know, uh, good things happen when you get to the football. And that was my mentality every game. I wanted to be as close to the football as I possibly could. And, you know, that's why I was able to re recover so many fumbles, cause fumbles, things like that, just effort, just getting to the football. That was, I took pride in that. With a name like Fishback, there's some fish tails. And this many tackles, this many tackles, this many tackles, right? You made the leap from Division Two to what is the NFL. So when you think about that transformation, NIA Division Two to the NFL, that's a heck of a leap. How much faster was the game when you got up there? What were the adjustments that you had to make once you did get there? Oh, it was, it's, it's night and day. It's night and day. You come from, uh, I, don't, I, I think if you, even if you play Division I football and you go to the NFL, it's still night and day, the speed uh, of the game. Uh, I remember our coaches used to come down to training camp in Atlanta uh, every year, uh, and it was just, it's a different game. It, it, the speed of the game, it just, it's, it's mesmerizing. I remember the first time I got to, uh, I went to New York when I left uh, Carson Newman. I got to the Giants, and you know I'm just in awe. I'm like I'm a little country guy from Tennessee, and I'm sitting here looking at Lawrence Taylor and shaking, and and and, and, and I'm like you know what? It's just amazing. Uh, but I put in the work, and things worked out really well. You on your right hand, you've got a championship Super Bowl ring. What is being a Super Bowl champion? What has it meant to you? What does it mean? Well. Uh, not only, not only a Super Bowl ring, I, I just took pride in winning. I won a state championship in high school. I went to Carson and we played for four national championships. We won three national championships. And when I got to the league, I was just fortunate. You know, you got plenty of Hall of Fame guys that played in the NFL that never was on the championship team. And I was fortunate enough to, to be on the championship team, and I don't take it for granted. Uh, so I'm just blessed and I'm just thankful. Do you wear it every day? No, I do not wear it every day. <laughs> 
Um, fill in the blank. And you, I don't know that you've answered it, but fill it in anyway. If it weren't for Carson Newman, then if it weren't for Carson Newman, then what? If it wasn't for Carson Newman, uh, I possibly still would have made it to the NFL. But one thing I do know, if it wasn't for Carson Newman, I wouldn't be the man that I am today because I had people at that university that cared about me, uh, even to this day. Coach Deaton, we stay in touch. It's a friendship. So things might have gone well professionally in my life, but the man that I am today, I don't think I'd have been the same man without having the influences that I had at Carson Newman University. So with that. With that, who would you like to thank tonight? Oh, well, uh, first let me just thank God for the opportunity to give me athletic ability to be here, be here and be able to uh, uh, represent my family. I want to thank my family. I have the most amazing family. Uh, these guys sacrificed a lot to be here with me tonight. I had one son to come in from Hawaii, and it was just a blessing that they all were here with me. Uh, to celebrate this moment with me, so I really have to thank my family. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Love you too, big cousin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all my Carson Newman family back here, I want to thank all of them for, you know, taking time to, to get here for me. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, South Atlantic Conference. Thank you guys for honoring me. It's a, it's a, it's, I really don't take this lightly, and I just want to say thank you. And I just want to say thank you to all the other recipients out there tonight. I realize that you guys have worked really, really hard in your careers and just want to say congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Hall of Famer Joe Fishback.